So in this video, we're gonna see about how to implement uh, these three particular DQN agent with Kira SRL. Okay. So thing is Kira SRL, it's a framework. It's fully from Kira's framework for reinforcement learning. They have different uh, maximum all the applications and algorithms. So for TensorFlow 1.x, they have Kira's RL, which is uh, like the oldest one. So for TensorFlow uh, 2, they have just developed a Kira's RL 2. Thing is, so in Kira's RL, uh, all the uh, algorithms works perfectly fine. Okay, I tested uh, these three plus uh, DDPG. We will see in the next video. It works fine. In Kira's RL2, which supports uh, TensorFlow 2, there is an error, uh, this particular error. When you initialize, like when you run a DDPG algorithm, you'll get this particular error. You can't execute the thing. So for now, both the frameworks have the same code. Once, once you learn from Kira's RL, you just can migrate to Kira's RL2. So once you come into Kira's RL2, all these bugs may be cleared out. So for now, we will play with Kira's RL. To make our environment good with Kira's RL, we are going to downgrade uh, the TensorFlow to 1.114. Okay. We get this particular code. So to make our environment work properly all the algorithms. Let's say you have TensorFlow 2.0. You can downgrade to 1.14. So execute the pip install Kira's RL2, which will uh, upgrade to, which will upgrade the TensorFlow 2.0 beta version. So in this particular version, all the three algorithm works fine. Okay. So only thing is you can execute DDPG. Okay. To execute DDPG also, make sure you have this particular uh, versions of both uh, uh, libraries. Okay. We are executing this, make your environment good with Kira SRL and TensorFlow 1.14. Before going for the code, execute this thing. We have to disable this particular function. Okay, this is uh, one of the error which is coming while executing the algorithms. So, oh, still it's stuck. So, first I'm gonna import the gym. Before going into the solving environment, what is DQN? So, all these things they have a common is neural network, which we gonna pass the Q values to solve the environment, which gives the which the best action should take. Okay. Thing is, different environment have a different uh, discrete, continuous, and box. Okay, for different environment, we have to pass the input layer to make the to get the information from observation, pass it to the neural network and process it. Okay, so here for the frozen layer, I mean for the frozen like environment, when you check dot n, we'll get sixteen. Okay, same thing if you check with dot shape, we'll get a empty tuple. Okay, so if this is a scenario for all like water environment you are checking, so you're gonna pass the data through the embedding layer. So ML layer should be the input layer for your model architecture. Here it's a card pole. Okay, so when you check dot shape, we'll get a four command in a tuple shape. This is a box uh, environment. If this is a scenario, you can uh, you can feed the uh, observation value into the input layer as flatten. Okay, you don't need embedding layer. Same case of pendulum. If you check dot shape, we'll get this particular thing. So what our environment is, when you check dot shape, if you get your output as this particular format, you can pass it to the, I mean, you can pass the observation as a flattened layer, as a first layer, or else we have to pass it through the embedding layer. Okay. First, um, we're gonna solve the card pole with DQN. Okay, this is the normal stuff I'm importing the gym and Kira's water stuff I needed. Then from RL agent, I'm I'm importing the DQN agent policy and memory. So we'll check what are this function later. So making the environment, I'm just giving the seed for the for the environment. So I'm getting the what are the actions can be taken from the environment. Okay. From next is I'm designing my model. I told you right, card pole is like we can get the observation value dot shape. So I'm passing the observation values as a flatten as an input layer. Okay. Then I'm passing the information through dense. I'm having activation. So we can increase the dense layer with activation as a relu, no problem. 
the last layer should contains dense then nb action so it going to take the observation value from the environment it going to process it then it going to give the best action which can be taken at this particular state okay so next we can increase the layer it doesn't matter at the last it contain a linear activation <clears throat> so why do we need sequential memory so all the experiences while the model is running through the network it should be stored okay after this particular value all the experience will be overwritten with the old one this is the parameter for limit so what is window length the number of observation should be fed into the neural network at a single time okay it's like a batch size so i'm declaring a policy so there are different uh, greedy policy you can check the uh, kira's rl docs so for now i'm using boltzmann you can even create your own policy and integrate with the policy parameter so now i'm declaring the dqn agent so the model which i have created i am feeding to the model the number of actions should can be taken memory and the warm up steps so these are the steps will be uh, done before the model uh, updates the weights okay then the policy now i declare the dqn agent i am just giving all the parameters what are this i stored in the variables i am compiling the model with adam and um, this particular matrix then this dot fit will make the model to train with 1000 steps okay here i gave visualize as a false so this microsoft as a notebooks we can visualize the stuff if you are making in your own uh, like even jupyter notebooks from anaconda make this as two you can visualize the whatever is happening in the training then i'm saving the weights so after the model has trained i am going to test the environment with five episode so what are the rewards i'm going to get from it okay this is a training stuff after the 1000 iteration i mean the 1000 number of steps this is a 45th episode so i'm got i'm going to get for this uh, episode reward is 14 okay so we will you will get the information like what is the duration the steps it took the what are what's the time it took okay after model has trained so i'm going to test the model right it took five episodes it took the steps and what is the reward okay so i'm not saying this is a optimal reward this is going to be the so this is how you want to solve the environment with dqn okay this is this model so now frozen lake so how to solve the frozen lake with dq1 thing is so when you going to get the observation value you going to get as a we can't get this thing as dot shape and we can't feed into the flatten and through the dense layer what i'm going to do is so importing all the necessary same stuff libraries i'm making the environment so declaring the seed what are the actions can be taken okay this 16 is the observation space okay this particular let's say for taxi you'll get 500 you'll give going to give the 500 this is the output so i'm going to reshape into the this particular embedding layer will be reshape in this model you can add the dense layer and you can make your model complicated a little bit more i mean little bit lengthy you can add the dense layer and you can process the information for now this is how you have to pass the information i mean the observation to the network if you are getting your uh, observation space as dot n okay so try this thing for the taxi version 3 you're going to solve this you're going to create a model the input layer is going to be embedding then you can add the dense layer okay here also i'm going to give the sequential memory so same policy i'm declaring after declaring the policy dqn agent i'm declaring the same stuff the model is same i'm compiling with adam so i'm training the environment after training is going to save the weights i'm going to test the environment okay uh, this is just a model how you going to solve it okay so i didn't get it didn't learn anything from the stuff so the reward is slow it just took the steps but it didn't reach like what is the target it should be done this is a sample how you have to solve the environment if you going to take the observation space as dot n okay
okay double dq1 in the normal dq1 agent it going to have a single estimator for the output okay that single estimator is going to take the it going to use the same value to decide what action should be taken in double dq1 two estimator function which going to decide what action should be taken okay so over estimation is the limitation in the dq1 so with to the, by making the two estimator we going to solve the problem okay so i'm going to use the cart pool same stuff i'm importing the libraries so still this is going to be same i'm going to use the same model i am passing the observation into the model then sequential policy okay to make the dq1 agent as uh, double dq1 you going to just add a extra parameter enable uh, double dq1 is equal to true so now the dq1 agent is double dq1 agent okay so this is my model i am just compiling and training it and i'm just saving the weight that is this code represent after the training i am testing the environment so this is how you going to solve the environment with double dq1 so there is a small change in the parameter in the dq1 agent just make this parameter is equal to true okay so double dq1 okay so this is a normal dq1 architecture so double dq1 is i mean it's not double dq1 dueling dq1 at the end of the thing is so here we going to have a single uh, fully connected layer and we going to get the action from this okay but here values will be passed through two different uh, fully connected layer from the uh, to decide what action should be taken and the average will be taken as a single output okay so this represents a dueling agent so i'm going to take the same environment importing and creating the environment i'm going to give the same model so you no need to change anything here uh, feeding the observation through the model sequential memory policy so one more same stuff this is going to be false enable dueling in network is going to be true and dueling type is going to be average okay so this is a small change you have to do in the dq1 agent to make your model as dueling dq1 agent okay so this is my model i'm training it after training this is what i'm okay the model has been tested with four episode take environment just try with dq1 double dq1 and dueling dq1 agent try to get the optimal reward from the three agents and compare the results compare the time taken just put a plot a graph and you will understand what is the difference each environment is doing there is only small parameter in to be changed in the all the dq1 agent okay these are the parameters that makes a difference from dq1 double dq1 and dueling okay to make everything to execute properly try colab or microsoft azure open a new jupyter notebook make sure you that all the libraries has been downgraded to keras rl and tensorflow 1.14 okay okay the only error you going to get is eager execution just disable it before running anything any importing after installing just execute this thing okay